today in the 21st century, it's difficult to speak of just one particular origin. Um, how do we trace a point of origin? Is it the place that I was born? Is it where my ancestors are from? A lot of the work was to do with the idea of being in a particular place that is home, of travel to places away from home, and the relationship to these different sort of spaces. Through the process of curating, um, a whole bunch of questions were raised, and that's how the theme emerged of homelands. The actual art was primary and not the name of the artist. It needed to be relevant, one of course to me, but it needed to be relevant uh, to audiences here in a way that the non-art world could also access the exhibition. The inclusiveness was something that we really wanted to capture. We wanted to get everybody to come, whether it was families, kids, specialists or not. We wanted everyone to feel like they could walk into the show. In fact, that was one of our main targets, as well as, of course, the content of the show itself, which is extremely interesting and speaks to everybody. That's the whole point of it being a homeland show. This collection's been made, uh, collected over seven decades, uh, so it tells a story of the artist, it tells the story of art development, it tells the story of UK development and the world's development. Christie's was approached by the British Council to sponsor this exhibition and one of the reasons why it was so interesting and exciting for us is because of the outreach and um, the artists that haven't been seen before in India. One of the wonderful things that was made possible by the British Council and our, our fantastic partners um, outside India is that we had four of the artists from this exhibition visit one of the cities each. Mona Hatu visited Delhi. We had Anthony Hawhey come into Calcutta. We've had um, Zineb Sadira come to Bombay and Pipatsuki Danda who's coming to Bangalore for a one month residency. Uh, she's going to be working with the idea of the city. I've been on a three week arts residency at number one Shanti Road in Bangalore. It's been quite diverse in the kind of different subjects I've been shooting. I'm more interested in people, you know, no matter you know, what background they come from or what class or which country they live in. It's just actually about people, about their feelings and expressions and just capturing, uh, capturing something about that. It's also important that we use the collection as a means to engage new audiences. So it acts as a trigger point to have discussion, debate about some of the key themes that a lot of the artwork uh, tells stories about.